baseball season. He got just served. How's uh, Heston doing there at first base? I think he's doing pretty good. You know, he's uh, he was an infielder as a younger player. I actually saw him take a few ground balls early in the recruiting process, and I thought he was pretty good. Then he grew a lot and I became a, a full-time outfielder. He actually played center field in his senior year in high school and talked to him about it uh, right before fall ball started, been thinking about it all summer, and he was all for it, Try to play some first base. His comment to me is, I can play outfield, you know, in my sleep almost. So he still gets his work in the outfield, but he spends most of the time, I'd say 95% of the time with the infielders this fall. Well, what made you think that would be a good idea? Well, just, uh, open up another spot in the outfield because we've got some guys that can play outfield that can help us offensively and they're good defenders. Um, and we thought uh, Heston would be a good target. Uh, for him personally, I thought that uh, this being his junior year, obviously he's going to be drafted this summer and he's going to be a really good draft. I've seen a couple of uh, first basemen go off the board in the first round, at least one last year and another was projected this year. Uh, I just thought it might help him a little bit financially and uh, to make him more valuable. But more than anything, I just felt like it would be an option for our team that could make us better. How's Goodhart progressing? You know, he's still uh, to the point where he's, you know, starting to lift light weights and move around, but he's not playing any baseball at all as far as throwing, obviously, and can't swing a bat yet. So. You know, he's disappointed because he sees the competition, and obviously this is a big year for him. He's coming off a really good year, and uh, we needed to work him out at first base as much as we could, uh, or a corner outfield spot, which he'll have an opportunity to, uh, to grab one of those spots in the spring. But, you know, he's uh, he's still week to week. He's got a ways to go. How do you say foul ball has gone over? I, th I think overall it's been good. You know, up until really the last few days, we, no one's really gotten hurt. We had one of our transfer students, uh, Braden Webb, get hurt yesterday. He's one of our starters. He made a great diving catch in left field and hurt his shoulder. He probably won't be playing for a while and definitely won't be playing tomorrow. Uh, but it's it's been good because we've, we've got to uh, scrimmage a lot, see a lot of the young arms. Returners seem to be better than they were. They're stronger. Um, I'm one of those guys that I don't I don't go crazy in fall ball trying to put everything in. I think you just have to pace yourself the, the way our game works. When we get off the field in October, we can work out inside. We can work out here and, and just continue on. But you know we're still uh, we're still just playing the game and observing for the most part. There's a lot of teaching going on, especially on the mound and then offensively. Uh, you know as far as defensively, I think guys kind of seeing what they need to do to get better, and, and we're working on it. It's made a difference for Connor to have to be playing baseball this, this fall. Well, you know, obviously we didn't have him last fall, but he's he's better now this fall than he was last spring. And that's I think that's just, you know, normal for a really good athlete that's playing uh, one sport at age 20, and he can just focus on that. You know, it's. If he was a hitter, an outfielder, and he was playing football, maybe it's a little different. But when you're throwing a baseball and then you're throwing a football, it's kind of some different arm arm action there, and, and it, it's, it's difficult. But I've seen his arm strength improve. Velocity's up. Breaking stuff is really good. Um, and I just – it's good to have him around in the fall for – uh, leadership and players respect him and uh, he's, he's a great teammate so I guess to answer your question I've seen him get better in three or four months uh, at uh, at a really good pace. First, you, as far as position players will, will, will your lineup look like tomorrow night? Um, you know you'll open some catch some and, and start out and Heston will be at uh, first and uh, Nesbitt will be at second and we'll have a, our grad transfer, Cole, will be playing third, and Martin will play short. Franklin will be in center. Uh, right field is probably going to be Zach Gregory. He was an infielder here uh, when I, I redshirted him last year. He swung the bat extremely well. He's been kind of an on-base guy, and he deserves to get in the lineup. I think we're going to put him in the lineup. And then, you know, left field would have been Webb, uh, probably. And, uh, but he got hurt, so we're still making a decision there. And then uh, probably going to DH freshman named Thomas, and then he'll also catch and uh, probably catch another guy or two. But uh, 
Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Who, who are the guys you're thinking about on the left? Um, Bryce, Bryce Matthews, true freshman, has been swinging the bat really well. Um, still got a ways to go in some other aspects of the game, but if you're just talking about offensively, you know, he probably deserves to be out there as much as anyone. And, uh, you know, I think Curtis Washington's played pretty well. Um, really good defense, hasn't swung it like he wants to, but he'll definitely play tomorrow. And Trey Harris has swung the bat good. He's better than he was last year. He's improved from through summer ball. And there's some freshmen that have an opportunity to get in the lineup and at different positions, and they'll probably play more towards the end of the games. What's your pitching rotation going to be? Um, I think we're going to start Kevin Copps and then probably go with Wick Lander and then Connor Nolan after that. And those guys, if that goes good, might all go around two innings max. And then maybe we'll just run a bunch of single innings out there, one inning piece for a bunch of guys. And the plan, if weather permits, is play nine and then take a little break and then play five more? Play, play 14 innings, and there won't be much of a break. Last year was too big a break. The umpires went in and changed that. We've worked it out where we'll probably drag the field after nine and get it going again. And maybe we have three umpires to start, but when that's going on, we have two. Game's starting later. Um, we're going to try to, you know, maybe we're taking a seven or eight minute break from the ninth to the tenth, and then take it on into midnight, probably. So. Yeah, yeah seven thirty is added like Oklahoma couldn't get over here. Well, the, 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 the way it thing. works is you can't. You're not supposed to miss class, so they're having to wait for most of their guys or all their guys to get out of class so they can get over here. Uh, last year, Wichita State, they the way their schedule worked out, most of their guys were out on Friday early. So, and the ones that weren't, they actually came a little later. So. Uh, Oklahoma will get here in plenty of time to get all their pregame work in. and But that's why we pushed it back to 7.30. Yeah, we would like to play to 6.30 or 7, but it didn't work out. It's just the way it goes. Connor mentioned Tom as a guy. He's had a hard time getting out. What, what's impressed you about him? Um, he's got a good swing. Um, he's confident. You know, it's about the swing, though, and he's laid off borderline pitches early in the count. And he's strong. You know, Connor gave up. Gave up. Gave up a long home run to Tom as the first pitch he threw to him because he we just tried to sneak a fastball by him after having a great first inning. Tom has let off the second inning, and he got all of it. And, uh, you know, so we, we kind of kid him about it. But uh, it was a big swing for Tom as, you know, good confidence booster. He's just a good hitter, you know. He, he played summer ball for the Midland Redskins, hitting the three-hole for him. And, uh, you know, he's, he's just a tough out. Are you surprised how Heston's taken to first? Or are you just a good athlete and good He's a good baseball IQ. Well, but. Heston has a really good attitude, number one, and he was all in. You know, it, it was fine. He, his comment to me was, it, it'll help the team. You know, this was a couple of days later after we talked about it. Because I kind of asked him again, how you feeling about this? Do you, you want to do this? And, and uh, he's like, Coach, I'm, I'm good. I think it'll make us a better team if I can play over here some or all or whatever. And, uh, you know, he, that's when he threw that comment out there. Again, I can play outfield any time. I can get a few. But I, I'm going to work at it first. And I think he's taken to it well. You know, he catches the ball well. He fields well. He's got an accurate arm. And I think he kind of likes being in the infield. With Goodhart, is, is first still an option when he comes back, or is it probably yeah. in the outfield? No, it'll be an option. The problem is, you know, how's he going to throw? You know, I think he'll, the, the bat should be ahead of the arm. You know, you're talking a you reference it a little bit, a, a Trevor Ezell type injury. And, you know, you saw how he threw. And he had surgery earlier, you know, just a little bit earlier. So um, it, it's just going to take some time. I think he's, he's looking at dh and playing first. And uh, that's what's so frustrating for, you know, for him is that this fall was going to be big for him to work at first base. And then when he, you know, when the arm was just didn't recover, we knew it was hurt. We just didn't know how bad. He was kind of told before he left for Cape Cod League that, there was a tear in there, and he wanted to go try and do it and see if it would be okay. And then he got up there, and he was hitting really well, but he couldn't throw and too much pain. So that's when he came back, and we, we had and he had surgery. You think he'll be okay for, for when February? Yeah, practice? I mean, we start on your favorite day of the year, Valentine's Day this year, February 14th. So I don't know if he'll be ready by February 14th. I hope he is. You know, Trevor was available to hit last year opening – days and even played first base so uh, I know that Matt's going to work as hard as he can to try to get back but we want to make sure he's he's good to go before we put him out there. 
just feel like he's thrown the ball really well. Um, he came back, you know, and he had a chance to sign. He, he didn't get drafted, but he could have. Told him he was coming back for the most part. So we're not giving it to him, but he's pitched really well, and he's been very consistent. He's probably pitched better than a couple of the other guys that are pitching behind him. So we said, hey, he's been here a while. Let's let him start the game. Well, he dove in left center, made a really nice catch yesterday and kind of jammed his shoulder and had an MRI this morning, and it's clear. He's had some strains and swelling. He had a little trouble lifting it right now. It's just, you know, just a shoulder injury without a tear. So, you know, I think he'll be out for a week or so, and hopefully he'll be able to play in our next outside competition game against Oklahoma State. You mentioned Gregory. He had a pretty good summer, it looked like. What have you seen differently? Well, confidence number one, um, and then we put him in the outfield, and I think it frees him up a little bit to just run and catch the ball. He's, he's got a really good arm, and he shows it from out there. Um, he, he's, he takes – he can walk. He gets walked a lot. You know, this, this summer he walked like upper 60s in, in a summer league. We didn't have anybody walk that many times our whole season. And uh, plus he's hit a little bit. You know, he's left-handed. He sprays it. He, he can steal a base. You know, I think he'll be a good, you know, he might start for us all year. He may be a utility guy, but, uh, you know, he's a guy that I think could score some runs for us. So I just feel like, you know, he went out and earned it in the summer, came back, showed he was better, and he's had a good fall. He deserves to play.